Do people call Beast Mode Paul Paul? Or do they say Beast Mode Paul every time? I I, I think know. I you know what? I've commentated Beast Mode Paul a couple of times and for some reason I have said Beast Mode Paul every time. To be and fair, now that you mention it, I don't know why. To be fair, that's three syllables. Tarun's one extra syllable that's like just mm. enough to throw it over the edge. Sort of like how EWGF and Electric Wind God Fist have the same amount of syllables. I hate that for it's me. It's so annoying. I hate that for hey, me so much. Hey, it's game one. Desley and Beast Mode Tarun going at it here on Pokemon Stadium 2 because where else would you start? And it's Beast Mode Tarun. We might play the whole set. We might play the whole set here. Now, here's the thing. As soon as Min Min gets hit, it is a trip and a half to get down. You're going to take a lot of damage. At the ledge, Falcon does have pretty solid ledge trapping. I love that he Ooh. went for the knee. That shouldn't ever connect, but it will catch people sleeping. And worst case, they air dodge it, and you're still an advantage. You're fine. Even better D either by Desley. I mean, yeah, not being able to get hit by the knee, but also not putting himself off stage either. This should be a, Ooh, dead, a dead Falcon. Falcon. Absolutely. So this is the, the other side of the matchup, is if you are off stage once, you should be dead. Will you always be eh, debatable? But with that Ram Ram and Falcon's recovery being what it is, you probably should not recover. Now, this is where this matchup sits for a lot of characters, actually, is, well, okay, I have a couple ways to get in. For Falcon, it's his speed, obviously, but... When I get off stage, yeah. that's where things become a problem. And Min Min, yeah, I mean, Desley's got that practice down to a T. He does have the benefit of having not only really fast ground speed, but also aerially, he can approach once, I mean, I feel like every time anyone's ever heard a Min Min set commentated, it's been beaten to the ground. Yeah, approach from that upwards 45 degree angle. Mm -hmm. But Falcon can do that with either landing there, which is usually pretty difficult to set up, but against Min Min can come a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. And like down air, which is, he loves it. I haven't seen a lot Beast of it. Tarun does too, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see it more when he's in the advantage with that character. Does clean the stock up with the Falcon mm -hmm. dive in the corner, but he's playing from behind. Yeah. He needs a big combo and he messed up his I think he was looking for like a turnaround up there. Yeah, it really was an awkward position to connect though, that like oh. almost crossed over with the Nair. And in the corner as well, sent him in a weird direction. Sheesh. Tarun does that side B like every single time when he can't take the up airs any further. He always just waits for you to air dodge and then he'll rapid boost, okay. like every time. Went for the Nair really low to punish the grab, but went for it a little bit too low, didn't come out. Could have been Nair knee setup, mm. um, but just a little bit. With this, much, ready. with this much rage, I feel like Desley might be at percentage for Nair knee, like, now. Yeah, and Not we anymore. saw Nair trying to cover the neutral get up, but didn't quite find it. And then instead of just holding shield or waiting for the ledge trap, uh, jumped again, and then Desley caught it with the up smash. Ooh, all over him, though. Man, and Tarun's been really good about comboing out of the uh, the up airs as well. Like, off of the reverse hit up air, he's found those backers pretty consistently. Starting to hold block a little bit. Not quite able to get far enough with the dash attack to punish. And now, a little bit telegraphed trying to land with these Nair ones. Desley is shielding all of them. Does he have a jump? Uh, well, <laughs> certainly not now. Yeah, so, man, Desley's not. playing with some fire. Definitely. I mean, that, that is a heat gameplay. Min Min, for sure, will do that to you. Um, if you don't get any of your combos started, one or two offstage interactions, the, you are playing cool. I will bet you $5 that Beastly goes one of his actual characters. I don't want to take that because he could. I, I th That's what I'm saying. I really think he would. But I feel like he's not going to go one of his actual characters. He's going to go one of his actual like characters 6 through 10. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see how committed he is. Because, I mean, literally, it's game two. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you mean through the set. Three, yeah. Two, and... One. He's already like kind of wavering, and I feel like there is a lot of room to change things up in that game, in this game too. Where yeah. I mean, it, chiefly wise. of which is just I mean, it, it, take the combos a little bit farther, and not even just the combos, but just the advantage state. Have it last a little bit longer. Don't oh. drop moments like that. Oh, didn't quite recognize the cross up. That could have been near knee. He was trying for it, but I think because of Desley's DI holding in, made it really awkward. I don't think the knee would have connected. That, that happened the last time that he almost had up air to knee as well. Desley was DIing in, mm -hmm. and Teru just gave him too much respect. Whereas now, this time he's all over it. Jumped kind of backwards a little bit to make sure that he landed that knee. And this, this is why yeah. I think that the Falcon should stay right now because again the rewards you get off of one hit are huge they're Absolutely huge huge. Yeah, they're huge 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 hey Yu-Gi-Oh! you gotta hit those back is i'm from brooklyn 
Yeah. He hit him with the Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu. Yu, you gotta hit him with the down throw. I, I call him by his full name, Yu-Gi-Oh. That's well. <laughs> Baby Dragon. Anyway, we got <laughs> Desley is. <laughs> I, I make bits like I haven't watched and also play Yu-Gi-Oh actively. <laughs> I know. Desley, but his name is objectively Yu-Gi-Oh. That That's his not, full name. That is not true. That is true. His name is Atem. No, and his it, name is Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyway. That's why the show is called Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, that, like he says, Yu-Gi is like a term of endearment because his full name is Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like a cute C-like nickname. Well, Joey would never reveal his full government. Well, yeah, that's why he says Yu. I say Yu. Yeah. Because Frank I Soulja hate Boy. the government. But anybody, that's why Kaiba calls him yu gi <laughs> So that's what we want to see is those nares coming in that 45 degree mm -hmm. angle, the combos off of them. There were three or four missed opportunities in game one to do that exact thing. Didn't we, miss them this time. Yeah, we missed like one. And nice going, Yu-Gi-Oh. Immediately cleaned it up. You can tell that he's the main character Yu-Gi-Oh because his hair is so massive. Yep. And Look at all the hair he has. Look at all the hair. Going crazy. Good job, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Game three, is this was a small battlefield or regular battlefield, actually, that was picked, which for Min Min? That is... This does not what? feel right. Um, what the scallop? <laughs> <laughs> when did you start saying that? That's a bit that I stole. From who? Uh, I have to know. MBT Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, I I thought that like this random friend group that I have was like it's the only place I'd ever heard it in my life, Who and they say it all the time. The the Discord server I usually hang out. Sheesh. Oh, fair enough. They they go um, with the scallop. Oh, D not <laughs> Good in all that the time. Voice. That it is it has become a very I don't know if it's plankton voice. Yeah, I don't know if it's like a, a bit that he stole because maybe there have been plankton memes or something? Maybe, I don't know. Maybe. I just, I'm shocked to, sheesh. Yeah. I'm shocked to hear it anywhere else. I like throwing out little, uh, little Yu-Gi-Oh lore references. Like to, the fact that his name is Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, for the small Venn diagram of people that are involved in our local Smash Brothers scene, and sheesh. also like watch progression series, which is like a Venn diagram of maybe two people in that circle. And sure. Them. Hey. So Desley's got the lead. We were saying that this was not a good pick for him, but he is sheesh, really making it work. Objectively, I, I think it's not a good pick, but... Uh, I, I didn't wrong. say it wasn't. Yeah, I think I maybe I'm sheesh. wrong. I don't know, man. That Ooh. was a very funny footstool to come kill. <laughs> it get him killed. I, like, the idea was maybe the Nair can come down in time if it's the faster one, but... Yeah. It's a weird option. A really bad attempt at a punish from Tarun. Like, when you see that you have missed the opportunity to punish the grab, just oh! just give it up. I thought that, that was about to be Me? a Falcon dive off stage. <laughs> oh, that's dead. Wow, Desley. yeah, he got him. He got him, indeed. That was pulled from nowhere. Beast mode, Tarun. Gonna have to survive here. Good luck. Sheesh. He made it back. He made it back to the stage top platform. That's where we love to be. Second hit there. Who thought it was going to come out? Not me. Desley used his jump there, which that could have easily been Tarun stock. That was terrifying. Waits for the air dodge, but doesn't quite time the falling upper correctly. I felt like me would have shield broken there. Sheesh. Uh, maybe. It's not something you like to go for, though. Because I feel like if it doesn't, then like up smash will scoop you and you'll die. Yeah, maybe. Sheesh. Go for the safe pressure. Falling up air, and I love that. Immediately block, you wait for the next thing. There's nothing really that is threatening to you there. Like, there's no shield grab mm. coming out, right? You know, I feel like part of the reason Desley has chosen this stage is because Tarun is not, like, platform camping or anything. He spent a little bit of time on the top platform, but definitely wants to interact. That's, cool. that's fair. Big Megawatt even in things up. And mm -hmm. you know what? I'll hold oh. it. This is even because a grab in the corner could mean everything. Yeah, and that's why we see Desley go for it, but Beastly hanging on the platform is able to find punish. Please be careful when you're hanging on that ledge. Stand clear of the closing doors, mm -hmm. please. That back area you should not have gone for. You've missed the opportunity. Just let them go for their panic option after whipping the grab. Please just let Desley panic. Please, for a moment, just let Desley panic. Desley no has bias. not been panicking, though. <laughs> hey, I... For rolls, like, immediately after the grab. I don't know, man. Ah, 
not in this last stock. He's looking clean. Keeping him out with the Ram Ram as well. Sour Spot backer is not going to be enough to do it. His recovery mix oh, have been great. Yeah. What was that? Backer's going to catch. Not going to kill. It's Battlefield. Mm -hmm. The Blast Zones are huge. Yep, coming in clutch for Desley. Rolls from ledge again. Man, yeah. chasing him so well with these Ram Rams. Don't Wait, die. sheesh. Actually die. I told you I'm caving for Desley. That's fair. Oh, back to the ledge. Air dodge on the stage. Yo, he could have gone for the sheesh laser. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh, oh that's gonna that hug. Sure. That's going to do it. That's oh! not going to do it. I lied to you. It's so, it's so stale. It has, to, it has to be stale, right? There's no way that they can do it. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Beastly ran to the position where Desley had rolled the past three times from ledge just to be like, hey, I'm scoping here. And then right back to <laughs> Hey, I'm scoping I'm, here. I'm scoping here. Right back to that neutral getup position. Covers it cleanly. You know, Min Min doesn't love to jump from ledge. It's usually like ledge drop something. Well, it, or... when you're ledge trapping, you don't have to commit to a read, which I feel mm -hmm. like I see Tarun do a lot. Yeah. Like he'll do like trying to fall with a nair one at the right timing at the ledge. Perfect timing. You can, timing, you can is... react because yeah. you're Falcon. Yeah. You're so fast. I'll just jab people at the ledge. It's so crazy. But that that is the thing that I have said more than once um, about Beast Mode Tarun Falcon mm -hmm. is... It, he does not play like a Falcon main. He no. plays like a my friendly's Falcon goes crazy kind of player. Right, which I heard you say that earlier. It works both to his uh, benefit and detriment. There's so many times where it works out for him, and then so many times where it's like, you're doing too much, bud. Yeah. <laughs> he is the definition of, you know, cutting the wires to my PlayStation because he's doing too much. Sheesh. Oh, oh my goodness. Big. Another. Does he's so close to going EA Sports big on him. What an air dodge, but too far away. Maybe even body blocked? I, that, can you body block? I don't that? think it body blocks, but I think because of the position, Desley felt like he needed to do that up me sooner. Mm -hmm. And then it, that was out of range. Mm -hmm. Like there's a very specific point where he would have been able to upbeat the ledge, but not when he was right next to the Falcon like oh, that. Beautiful Raptor boost, getting a little extension, but not a huge. In the corner, he just got the it, jab and he ran away. He's doing too much. I think he expected that to be blocked. I think that maybe he thought he had a reset. Maybe. Like maybe Desley missed a tech. Ooh, nice edge guard though. That's like the buzz edge guard. Mm -hmm. He always goes off just like that. Ram Ram, get out of my house. Oh, the turnaround up airs are nice. Yeah, he's about to go crazy. I love the attempt for that Nair. Second hit connects and that's dead Desley. Down throw, I would have liked to see forward throw. Down throw, what it does is it baits out DI for the forward throw, and you did see Desley DI in, but he DI'd up and in. Really smart by Desley to kind of get around that mix up. Mm. There we see Battlefield coming in for Tarun again, by the way. Desley yeah. definitely could have caught that landing with something bigger, but he committed below the platform, which sometimes you have to do as mid-min, and now Tarun on stock away from moving on to losers finals. Dash attack sets up off stage. Oh, he wanted to finish it quickly. Oh. It's not to be. Careful off stage. Not quite going to catch the two frame. So I said it's, a, it's like a coin flip every time. You could just be dead or you could just have to deal with the ledge trap. Mm -hmm. Back Ooh, throw. That is one of few pivot grabs we've seen Desley connect properly. I feel like yeah. he's missed quite a few. Not been punished for very many, but. Jeez. One of the uh, first ones he's in connect, part of it is because Falcon has so much speed that sometimes he doesn't even need to be in a range where he's like scared and picks a bad option where that can connect. Yeah. Oh, oh back is nice. Oh, but he mm -hmm. somehow didn't grab the ledge there, and Desley anime protagonist powers was able to reach. No I ho ho, he took a bite of gum gum. Whoa. Yo. He's trying he to get the big read. He did. I feel like he just like short circuited there. <laughs> The like, analysis paralysis. He baited out the air dodge, Sheesh. and then he just kept falling and did nothing. Yeah. It's just like you now want to you, you want to read, but you don't know which one, you, what punish you want. Just nair him. It's, yeah. It's that simple. Sheesh. Oh, there, though. Dodge. Oh, I love that back hit up air. Almost connecting to the knee. He uses more back hit up air than any Falcon I've ever seen. Oh, my. You've got to be ready to attack those if you're going out there. You gotta be. You must. Oh, Mr. Tech on the platform. Sheesh. Stick to the platforms and Desley ready to respond with that up air. And we will yeah, be going to a game five 
as Desley asks the eternal question, who do you think you are? I am. Dropping that bowling ball of a megawatt mm -hmm. to finish that game. And off the top platform, catching him, try the top platform camp. Kind of turning that downside against him. Yeah. A little bit of why that battlefield was the pick. And now I wonder what stage it would be. I think PS2 by the amount of ticks I heard. <laughs> if I get this right, I'm godlike, and I am. Godlike. I just, I feel like people pick PS2 so many times that I hear tick, 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 ching, and I'm like, that's PS2. What other stage could it be? Oh, missed his run off Nair and ended up dashing a little bit and jabbing on the platform. What a goofy. Oh, invincibility? Or not, rather, armor. Threw the dare on the way down, and now Beast oh. Mode Tarun is going Beast Mode. Man, he has picked good times to go for air dodge reads. That was not one of them, mm -hmm. but I'm wondering how much that's going to play into him maybe getting a big one against Desley in this last game. Mm -hmm. What a dash attack from Desley. Great to set up a position in the corner. Comes straight in for the grab after two of those forward tilts that catch. Uh, Force Beastly to start respecting that space. Dash attack back into center stage, trying to catch the landing from Tarun as well, sticking to the platform, which I think is great, because again, you've talked about how Falcon just loves to approach from that 45 degree angle. Platform is getting in the way of that, and now Ram Ram is getting in the way of the ledge, and Desley's getting out to that game five lead. Forward throw, what the hell are you doing? One of the edge guard. Why? Just, just down there, there's a platform right there. There's a there. platform, I, I agree with you. Yeah. Not, yeah. I'm I, I agree it. with you. <laughs> And I Desley, like the idea for the Nair. And the recoveries have been really, really good as the set has gone on. He hasn't gone for like the crazy You're cheese yet either. Oh You're yes, you are. Goodbye. Falcon is Goodbye. a bad character. Desley's this, up three stocks to one. This is game five. This is game five. And it, you know what? Yeah, oh. I'm just going to say it. It's because he kept his costume on. This is the power of Hatsune Miku. It is. It, it really. None of the games have been as silly lopsided is this? <laughs> this, uh, this is shades of uh, <laughs> Just run off the stage. Just run off the stage. Man. That's, when you have to resort to the Falcon Punch, that's what I did in 2018. It didn't work then either. Are you saying you're 2018 Kimona? That's not a good look. Oh, oh never mind. He's 2018 Kimona and he's making it work. Making it look hot. However, I will stay. I'm still thinking Miku. Miku Uwiu. Sheesh. Uwiu. Yeah, that's how the song goes. I'm thinking Miku, Miku, Uwiu. I don't know what, yeah. Vocaloid. It's a, it's a good song. It's on a Gucci, actually. Oh. Yeah. It's a good song. Desley, though, just needs to get the Falcon off stage one more time before he sets up for a Ram Ram, and that'll yeah, be it. Yeah, that's it. I, like, <laughs> it was so clear what the wind condition was, I wasn't done with the sentence yet. And yeah. then it happened. I mean, Tarun looked good in a lot of that set, but that last game just the snowball mm -hmm. just keeps going. I, I feel like PS2 was not the pick. I feel like the space on the stage did not. Uh, what What's up? He? I feel like the space on the stage didn't uh, benefit Dorje. that much. Dorje. And yeah. it made it really apparent when he was going to like run in or off a platform. Mm -hmm. Whereas with you know Battlefield, if he could run it back there, you have the 